What's up everyone? Gonzo back and I'm excited to bring you giveaway number two for the new Smuggler's Bounty. Let me go ahead and open this one up. Get started. Pretty sure most of you love the previous pop figures from the last Smuggler's Bounty. Oh, having trouble here. And here is the follow-up. Again, as customary, a little iron-on patch. Seems to be BB-8. Again, this is resistance themed, and that seems to be the the pilot. I can't remember his name right now, but whatever. Let me go ahead and give you a better look. Again, a little BB-8 iron-on patch, and the pilot. Let me go ahead and open this up. Nice, loving the shirt already. Seems to be the up pop figure version of the movie poster. Color's really nice. It looks similar to the movie poster, but unlike the actual movie poster, there's, I, why, I don't see any of the villains there, but you have all of the, the main heroes, including <laughs> old Han Solo up there with the little wrinkles beneath his eye as well as Chewie. So, awesome shirt. Anyone out there is interested, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, send me an email at mrkeebler at gmail.com, and more than likely send this off to a lucky winner. Ooh, let's go. Mystery box number one. Oh, neat. Similar to the Star-Lord mug from a couple videos ago. But now I have a C-3PO coffee mug. I'll be careful with this. Nice. Got a little button in the back. So even on this side, there's a little kind of little detail found on C-3PO's helmet as well as you already saw the back. But a nice little pop home powered by Funko. So if anyone out there is interested in this, you know the drill. Let me know for all you heavy coffee lovers out there. I'm sure that's a plus. Nice. Oh, Chewbacca pop figure exclusive to the Smuggler's Bounty box. Neat. Let me go ahead and open this guy up. I could kind of tell it's already one of my favorites. I want to be careful with this one because the level of detail there, but see very closely is uh, I believe it's called a Wookiee Bowcaster. I love the detail on that. Let me see if I could get a better view. Give me a second. But it has this like uh, material that it's made out of. It's not the typical plastic found on pop figure. So it feels like he's made out of fur. It's actually a really neat one. Let's see if we could get a better view of this guy right here. But I'm not sure if you could tell from the video. Hopefully the HD quality kind of comes through here, but you could kind of make out the little material that he's made out of. You can kind of even hear it when I run my fingers across it, but... And there's the Wookiee Bowcaster. Love the detail in that little gun, too. See, you could even see the little scope on it. Actually makes me want to be very careful with this guy when I'm taking him in or out of the the box, but... Neat little pop figure. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with my refer a friend contest where I was, and I still owe uh, the winners, but going to mail them out this weekend, but had a little refer a friend contest where anyone in the world could could have won a pop figure first place. And actually the winner was Jerome B. from the Netherlands. So I owe him an Assassin's Creed pop figure from a couple videos ago. But what I want to start doing is holding on to some of these guys, quite possibly like this one, to save them for my next Refer a Friend contest, which I hope to have when I hit around maybe 250 subscribers. So not too many to go, but that way I give anyone in the world a fair chance to get a neat little critter like this guy. Even the little feet and stuff. I can't get enough of this guy. I think I've shown him too much, but... <laughs> Even his little satchel artillery. Really awesome guy. 
and I might have to save them for the next refer friend contest. Stay tuned, um, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. This kind of sums it up for the resistance version of the Smuggler's Bounty. So here we have the little highlight of the box, I believe, but if any of you out there are interested in any of these items, feel free to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think, and send me an email at mrkeebler at gmail.com with your top three favorite items. The viewership's kind of growing, so I'm restricting these type of giveaways to all of my subscriber community. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without you. And again, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around. I'll follow up with the next giveaway, which I believe is this box right here, the Cantina. So stay tuned, and I hope to see you guys around. Have a good one. Thanks.